Hey guys, Carolyn Banner here from Body by Banner. I'm going to be leading you through a, about a four to five minute warm up. We're going to be doing 20 second intervals of different dynamic movements to get the whole body warmed up and ready for um, a 20 minute circuit we're going to do next. Okay, so follow along with me. We're in the bedroom today because I don't have any room in my living room when my son is here with the babysitter on rainy days. So bear with me on the cramped quarters. But just to show you that you can do um, pretty much work out and warm up and do any kind of activities in pretty small spaces. All right, so join with me. All right, so starting with alternate elbow to knee. Good, so focus on bringing the knee straight up and then twisting through the torso. So get the upper body warmed up. Good, and butt kickers. Heels up to the bum, warming up the quads, the front of the body. Nice and light on those feet so you protect the knees as you land. Awesome, we're gonna come into side lunges. So nice wide stance, reaching with the opposite arm. The foot, stretching through the inner thigh and the hip, pushing the glute back as you bend into the knee. Knee reaches out over the toe. You've got a traditional jumping jacks. If you need to take out the jump, if you don't want to do plyometrics, you can alternate stepping side to side. If you have neighbors that don't want a lot of noise, a lot of you. And try and get the fingers to touch overhead. Awesome, regular squats. So you're just going to squat back, body weight squat. So try and get as low as you can, squeezing the glutes, weight in the heels, core tight as you sit back. Good, chest stays up as high as you can, as long as you can through the spine and open through the chest. <sighs> Big arm circles back. Good, we're going to do about eight back, and then we'll move over to the three and fours. Bring it forward, nice and loose through the shoulder. Okay, alternate um, jumping jack movement. Opening the arms wide. This opens up more through the chest and the upper back. Just make sure the arms are nice and straight, resisting your own body weight. It'll help open up and stretch. Okay, all right, alternate lunges forward. You can stay a little more shallow on these, but still aiming to get the front knee over the ankle. You don't want it to shoot out over the toes. So one way to do that is to make sure you step far enough forward and to drop the back knee straight down. Good. So warming up the wrists, wrist circles forward. Again, for about eight. And reverse. Make sure, especially if you're doing any impact, like push-ups or upper body movements so you're supporting your upper body or your whole body weight with your wrist. You want to warm those up as well. Okay, another jumping jack. We're going to arms straight up. Jump into the side. Good, again, make sure the arms are nice and straight, not just flopping around. Core strong. Good, we're going to do reverse lunges now with a forward kick. So we're going to do about five on one side. And about five, switch sides. We might go over the time on this one a little bit. And we'll just finish out the next one. Good. Keep your knees to more on the side. We'll finish out with some high knees. A little more in intensity. If you need to, again, take it down a notch, just marching in place. And strong as you walk it out. We're going to do two rounds of these. 
This time we're going to add a push up at the bottom. You can bring the knees down if you need to. Okay. And trying to alternate which hand starts bringing me forward and which hand starts walking me back. Okay. Awesome. And done. Okay, so it's about four and a half minutes. Oh, oops. Uh, hopefully you're feeling pretty warmed up by now, ready to jump into a workout. So we'll be getting started with that in a little bit. All right. Welcome back. We're going to get started with the 20-minute circuit. Let's change locations. I'm in the living room now. I have been given my space back <laughs> now that it's top draining and my son is napping. So we get to do a nap time workout. Um, hopefully it won't make too much noise to wake him up. But um, I got my timer set for one minute intervals. And we're going to be doing four rounds of five different exercises. And just and so I'll be showing you ways to increase and decrease the intensity as we work through it. I'm be working with you and resting. After I push hard, I'm going to need to rest. Um, especially today, I'm really sore from a leg workout I did yesterday. And another thing to note, I'm going to show you on the first movement, it should be jumping lunges, which I will show you a couple of, but I'm not going to be doing the jumps because I have a hip injury that's just a constant inflammation on my hip and I don't Jumping lunges make it worse. So I'm going to respect my body and not do that and just do alternating lunges. Maybe throw in some weights since I have them here with me to increase my heart rate a little bit more. But um, please, if you can, do the jump lunges. I'll show you a couple of them, but um, I'm not going to be doing a bunch. Um, I'm going to save that for the new jacks, which we'll be doing in, in another exercise later on. All right, so here we go. Okay. Hey. So the first movement, like I said, will be those jump lunges. So if you can, you're going to do a jump switch. We're going to be doing a full minute. And you're going to be trying to jump switch as high as you can. If that's too much for you or if you have an injury like me where that impact does not feel good on your joints, you're going to do alternating lunges as quickly as you can switch, okay? I'm just stepping it up and step it back. So we've got a minute on each exercise. The thing we're going to be doing, though, is at the end of each minute, we're going to be holding, pulsing, the movement for 20 seconds, 15 to 20 seconds, okay? I'm get my timer. Can I lose track? Yep, we're heading on to 20 seconds. Right leg pulsing one inch up and down, nice and tight. So 90 degree angles with both knees. Try and get that knee as close to the ground as you can, nice and low. Oh yeah. <laughs> After my workout yesterday, this is killing me already. So I'm gonna need to rest probably a good bit today. All right, next minute will be push-ups. So, full push-ups if you can. Feet um, behind you, hands underneath the head. You're going to get that chest as low to the ground as you can. Elbows go back about 45 degree angle. Good. If you feel comfortable with those, you're going to take up the rate. So going as quickly as you can with good form. Resting the knees down whenever you need to. You get a little stretch. Or, if you need to modify, of course, bring the knees down. Or you can put them up on a bench. That's actually better. It'll keep the core working if you can elevate the hands to modify that way instead. All right, going into pulsing push-ups. Last 20 seconds here. One inch up and down as low as you can go. Try to keep tension on those chest muscles, shoulders. Awesome. I'm almost there. Five more seconds. We're really burning into those muscles. Activating all the hormonal responses we want. Oh, peel yourself up. Actually, no, we get to flip on over. Spread the abs. Coming into bicycle abs. So, rooting down, belly button to the spine, elbows out wide, twisting from the shoulder. So, thinking of crossing the shoulder to the opposite knee versus the elbow. The elbow will be able to touch, but you want to actually think of your shoulder reaching across so that you can actually have more of a rotation. I would do it on time. Good, seven more seconds and we're going to pull. All right, legs straight up. Try and keep those shoulders off the mat, reaching up towards the laces or the toes. So my shoulders are off the mat the whole time, keeping tension on the abs. Six more seconds. You can bring one hand to the head if you need to, to support the neck. Good. Come on up. Next movement, we got new jacks. So, close and wide squat. So we're gonna bring it close. Jumping out wide. 
Super big movement on the legs and the lungs. You can get that heart rate up really fast. So what this is, is a close squat, like a chair squat. Jump up and wide, as low as you can with those glutes. Jump up and close, okay? What I do is use the arms to help me get up. You can just hold them in if you want to. It makes it a little bit harder. Whew, modification. Just step it out and in. Feels good. <laughs> All right, coming into squat pulses here. Arms out in a T. Big, strong pull on those fists so that you're just encapsulating the shoulders. Here, too. Whew. Getting breathless. Okay. All right. Squat thrust with the push up if you can. These are also kind of like bur um, burpees, called frogger burpees. Squat down low, jump it back. One push up, jump it in, top jump up. All right. If you need to modify, step it back, knees down, step it in, and simply stand. Okay. We can modify, take out the push up or keep the push up in, but still jump. Jump at the top, whatever you can do. So try and do the full version if you can. For the first 40 seconds. Next time we're gonna come down, stay down for our swimmers. So back of the body, keeping the nave, neck long, gaze down. to turn my computer. Round two. Starting with those alternating lunges or jump lunges. I'm going to throw in some weights to take the intensity up since I can't jump. So same thing. Just alternating stepping forward and back. So if you're at home, you can add the weights to any of the movements, really, to the knee jacks as well. So I'm using this to help increase the intensity for me since I'm not jumping. 15 more seconds here. I will be pulsing on the left side this time. So alternating each round, which side we're going to be pulsing on. To even it out. Five more seconds. Whew. Still tough. <laughs> All right, bringing the left leg forward, pulsing down. Just nice, tight, one inch up and down movement. Whew. If you need a rest, you can always rotate. Keeping the distance between the feet, making it easier to come right back into it, and you pulse. Great. Push-ups are next. Full push-ups if you can, dropping the knees down if you need to, or elevating the hands. Goal is to push hard and rest. I'm pushing the intensity by going quickly as I can, as far down as I can. Taking quick rest whenever I need it to keep the form strong. Whew. Quick rest, we're going to head into pulses. You can keep the knees up here if you're feeling really strong. <laughs> Not right now. So we're going to have the knees down for the pulses. You want to keep the knuckles pressing into the mat so you don't hurt the wrist. Oh, so hard to get up after those. <laughs> okay, flipping on over. We got bicycles next. Big cross. Movement is coming from a really strong core. So my legs are pumping and my arms are twisting only because I have a really strong base here. Using our own limbs and levers against oh, the resistance against our core. Ten more seconds. You can take the speed up if you have good control. That'll keep your heart rate up for sure. Awesome. Reaching the legs up, pulsing here. Try to keep that tension on those muscles. Three, two, one, and come on up. New jacks are next. 
Okay, so again, close squat. Jump it wide, jump it low. As high up as you can in between. So go until those legs feel like lead and you can't get yourself up again. Or your lungs are giving out on you. That's not my point. Quick rest. So you could have weights here if you wanted to, if you're really crazy, which I'll try and show you next time. All right, pulses on those squats. Feet hip distance, arms out in a T. Really strong flexion on the hands, the fists that engage the whole arm muscles. Great. Okay, squat thrust. Big squat here so the low back stays long. So you're bringing the hands down because you're squatting versus a lot of times you'll see with burpees like this. No, you don't want to hurt your back. Squat low, jump or step back, jump it in, jump it up. Ten more seconds and we got swimmers coming up. Okay, the default again, step back. Knees down if you need it. Jump it in. Jump it up. Awesome swimmers. Working the whole back of the body, the posterior chain. All right, halfway done. Two more rounds, two down. Two to go. Picking up the weights. Lunges. I just got my hair cut. I have all these whiskeys now. <laughs> I keep getting in my face. Good, guys. Keep it moving. Doing those jumps if you can. But always listen to your body first, okay? You need a second. This time we'll be staying on the right leg. Okay, the right leg forward, pulsing down. I'm working hard with you guys. This is I'm getting tired. I'm ready for my lunch after this. So usually when I work out after Oli goes to bed and before my lunch. Whew, good. Push-ups. Okay. Full push-ups if you can. Chest down. If you can't get the chest at least halfway down with full push-ups, try with the knees down or the hill, or I'm sorry, hands elevated to work on the depth. You can't really build much strength if we're staying up in just a really small range of motion like this. Sorry, but those don't really count. You're not going to get much strength building with that, okay? Last one. Have a quick stretch. Go into the pulses as soon as you can. Got about 15 seconds here. Awesome. Okay, right, flip on over. Bicycles. So don't worry about following exactly with me. You might be feeling really strong and go faster. And I'm talking a lot, so I can't catch my breath as well. So you really want to take good hands with your old body. Push yourself hard. Rest when you need to. Okay? So it's not an aerobics class, no jazzercise here where you're following exactly the movement. <laughs> All right. Five seconds, and then we're going to be pulsing. Legs up, lift it up. Try and if you're holding the head, the hands, try and alternate which side you're doing it on. Maybe each time, or halfway through, every 10 seconds, rotating. Oh. Okay. Knee jabs. 
don't know which one is my least favorite. I think these might be. <laughs> They're hard. Oh, let me show you with the weight really quickly. Okay. So you have the weights by your side. When their feet are close, bring them in in a hammer curl. And back. And forth. So only do these if you feel really strong. Don't have any hip or knee injuries. And you go a little bit slower. And you're going to get the heart rate a lot faster. A few more. And then we're going to go into pulses. Starting now. Okay, feet hip distance, arms out in a strong T. So see how I'm flexing my arms. Getting a lot of tension through those arms. Touching my breath a little bit here. Okay. Leg, we got squat thrust next. So including the push up if you can. Squat down, jump it back, push up, jump in. Come down. Let me do some coffee ones. Try and alternate if you're stepping. Which foot is going back and bringing you forward. So whatever goes back, that foot brings you forward. Awesome swimmers here. Pulling the navel up to the low back. Yay! One more round. I'm going to grab a quick sip of water. Three down, one to go. Alternate lunges. Okay, losing the weights. You jump if you can. Try to get right into it. Your legs should be burning by now. That's what we're going for. We're going for breathless lungs, burning muscles. Lots of heat from showing when you're sweating, which I'm dripping already. Working the muscles to failure. Here we go. Pulsing down, left side forward, left side this time. Nice and tight. Try to really commit to that lunge, get nice and low. Eight seconds here. You got it for five, four, three, two, and done. I'm counting as much of myself as for you again. Push ups. Even if you can only do one or two quality reps at a time and then rest, go for it. I'd rather you do nice quality reps and take lots of rest than give me sloppy, sloppy reps. When you feel like you can't support your low back, that's a good indicator to put the knees down, take up a crest, or just do them with the knees down. All right, pulsing push-ups. Nice and low, nice and tight. Working the chest, especially here. Still supporting the low back with a nice, strong core. We got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Bicycles. Three more minutes, you guys. We can do it. Shoulders up. 20 seconds here. Dig into it. You're in the home stretch. Let's go. 10 seconds. Ah, quick stretch. I'm going to rest, stretch. Rest a second. And then we've got pulses. Legs straight up. Pulse it up. Good. Half an inch to one inch up and down. Smaller is better usually with this with any of these pulsing movements. Coming up on two minutes to go. Good. 
few jabs. Lots of cardio these last two minutes. So you should feel the leg burning a bit on this, but you're mostly going to feel it in the lungs. Okay. Check them out. All right, back into it. Ten more seconds of jumps. You got those poles. You got this, guys. We got five seconds. Oh. And then pulsing squats. Just a little over a minute to go. Catching my breath here in a little bit. Seven seconds. Whew. Last minute. Here we go. Give it all you got. If you're holding, if you've been holding back, now it's for me. Put it all on the table. Here we got some. Last one. Ah, swimmers. Coming all the way down. You got this, guys. the intensity as much as you can on that with the higher intensity options pushing the tempo and if you need to default default for sure listen to your body first take rest but always 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 you're gonna get better results if you can push that intensity the more you work the more you're gonna need to rest okay so push hard rest push hard again <sighs> time for lunch <laughs> see you later guys